guys figured it out yet. I'm halfway there. Almost halfway there. I'm at the biggest airport in the country, I think. Atlanta Hartsfield. Check back soon. Right, boys and girls we're not in Florida anymore if you haven't guessed yet or haven't given you enough clues I'm in Wisconsin that's right Wisconsin and it's cold up here it's like 60 anyway I'm uh, like a few miles away from my exit Going to see my buddies at Wisconsin Flight Sports. It's like a good place for an airport. Well, my first day in Wisconsin, it was windy and rainy. Sam and Roger had a new student. They were working with him on the field using the Soul Fun Wing. If you guys haven't figured it out yet or I haven't told you, I'm interested in becoming an instructor and sharing the sport with some people in the future. So I got to spend some time with these guys working with their student on the field, just observing and learning from them both. This is where the magic happens. Wisconsin Flight Sports has a hangar at the East Troy Municipal Airport. I got to bum around there for a while and check out all the SkyMax equipment. This is the badass Sky Engines Boxer, two cylinder, two opposing cylinders. This thing is awesome and super powerful. The following morning, the weather really wasn't looking any better. So uh, we hopped in Sam's car and took a road trip. Well, hey there again, uh, Sam here with uh, Wisconsin Flight Sports, and today we're up here at the EAA Museum up here in uh, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Check it out. Uh, home of the Packers. So we had a little rainy weather today. We got a little delay on flying, so here we are. We're going to check out the museum. And uh, Sam knows somebody on the inside. I might. We'll see. <laughs> can you pull the mask down so we can see who we're oh, talking yeah, yeah. to? <laughs> Everybody knows this guy. John has a passion for aviation and it shows. He gave us a personal guided tour of the museum. Right, we're looking a little bit better this morning. I think all this rain has passed. Some some uh, low clouds. They're moving pretty good, so there's going to be a little breeze up above. But hopefully, we can get some flights in this morning. Gotta run and grab some go -go juice real quick. Yeah, buddy. The reason I came to Wisconsin was to fly the SkyMax paramotor. I had seen them at Palm Bay and liked them, but I didn't get a chance to fly one. 
Sam worked with me a bit on my foot launching and I got a few flights in. While my technique can use a little bit of work, I was happy that I hadn't forgotten everything that I had learned. I really liked the way the machine was built, I liked the way it fit me, and I liked the way it flied. So I've ordered a SkyMax. I expect delivery in early October. It'll be shipping out after endless foot drag. So Skydive Milwaukee also operates out of the East Troy Airport. You gotta keep your eye out for jumpers and you see the jump planes going up and down all day ferrying people into the sky. I'm an airplane guy and I like anything that flies so I can't help but check these out and take video when they go by. Man, I'd love to get a ride on that. Well, it wasn't long before the guys at Wisconsin Flight Sports made that dream come true for me. The pilot's name was Matt, and he was super cool. He told me all about the aircraft and how it worked. This is a PAC, or Pacific Aircraft 750 turbine. We carried 10 jumpers to 14,000 feet this day. Matt let me take the stick and fly the airplane and called out coordinates and headings. Once we hit 14,000, Matt opened the door. This is where the real fun begins. The skydivers got out pretty quick and started their adventure. Once the last one was out, Matt closed the door and pointed that airplane straight for the ground. What a rush. You could feel the acceleration and the two and a half G's as we pulled out level for landing. It's the most fun I've ever had in an airplane. We landed before the skydivers and had to wait for them to land before we could proceed. Ten minutes after I got out of that airplane, Roger pulled up in his 172, so we piled in. This was not quite as exciting as the pack, but it was still a great airplane ride. Roger took us on an aerial tour of East Troy and the area. This was definitely a day to remember. That evening, some students and friends from the area showed up to fly. Wisconsin Flight Sports has an awesome tandem trike. It's an adventure fun flyer. It has a Seminini Evo motor on it. It's super powerful. I really like it, and I just had to fly it, so they let me. We had a memorable flight around the Wisconsin countryside in the cool evening air. A student from another school was foot dragging the creek and got a little deep and went in. Fortunately the water was very shallow and he landed on his feet. He had to walk up the creek a little ways uh, where he could get to a bridge and get out. We all saw this happening and radioed to Roger who drove over in his truck and helped him get out of the water. He ended up with a wet wing, but nothing else was damaged. This flight just topped off the trip for me. I had accomplished everything I had intended to do. I got to fly the Sky Max. I got to take some unexpected airplane rides that were a heck of a lot of fun. And I even got to fly the Adventure Fun Flyer Trike. What a great trip. These guys were so good to me. We had such a good time hanging out, flying, and learning. I can't wait to do it again. I can't wait for my SkyMax to arrive so I can start foot launching. I learned a lot from these guys and probably will learn a lot more in the future. Thanks a lot guys.